Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more E4. I'm Leo's Kelvin. Where? Cataphrax. Yay! Doesn't really help us since we aren't using cavalry until we actually win this war. But, hey, you know what's something. Siege against them is progressing. Siege of Baghdad is finally coming to an end. We can have two we apparently can have two leaders of that upkeep somehow. I'm not actually sure how. Perfect doesn't grant this that to us unless we have 25, so where does the second leader come from? Oh, government rank. That's right, Empire! We can just get two leaders for free now, normally. That's I'm so used to that not being the case. along everything. Alexandria fell. Not too surprised about that. But that's okay, because our war with Persia is almost over. 14% on their last fort. I'm not even remotely. It's... It really isn't a problem that they finally managed to make their breakthrough. It doesn't mean it'll be a little work to uh, push them back, but yeah, we should win that. Okay, good. All right, Persia, Kiva is about willing to accept peace as well. This has been going on too long for even them. So hopefully, at the end of the month. Alright, so I see they've broken through. They're jerks, but they aren't a problem. Withdraw to deal with them. As I said, the Persians aren't actually much of a threat right now. Oh, Comet to Devil's Kith and Kin. Cataphracts. I'm not actually using any, so it doesn't matter. And, yeah, well, we're just straight shot down to zero stability. Christ. Hit it. One, two, three. Aw. Oh, not enough, but... We damn if we don't seem to manage to lose enough. The poor enthusiasm seems to be going up. Moderately impressive. attempt to attack us. Good, Kiva's war exhaustion is finally low. Ooh. Apparently shit was going on while I wasn't looking. It's okay, we've still won. And put them all packing. Good. Now, on the Persian matter, it's apparently we only have 63%. I guess we push the Persians. We just have to come back to deal with them on occasion when they break through. Yeah, that's reasonable, I suppose. Just gotta try and push and break the Persians. Occupy as much of their land as possible. And very quickly, I have a feeling that what remains... Ooh, wow, they turn, turns out they're retreating into a province with my troops. So let's be them. Push north. No, actually, you, uh, you need to go deal with something else. Okay, we're recruiting you to go deal with that then. I guess. I'm gonna be looking to try and take out uh, their northern region up here. And I don't know if it'll be too long before Persia just kind of accepts this. For what it is, because 
they can. You know, <laughs> they can't keep uh, opposing it, but... 95%, that's as much as we can physically take. Like, just overextension-wise. Uh, that fort held long, long, long enough. Actually, of course, it's better. Fuck. We weren't actually supposed to move. You know what if the Canadian Navy bests me here? Yeah, they are starting to get out of hand over there, aren't they? Still can't imagine Persia hanging on too much longer in the face of all this. I mean, just how much of their country is occupied? The war exhaustion is shooting through the bloody roof. We're almost there. There's less than 10 to go. Right. They're fighting us to the last man. Honorable, if foolish. And they are now willing to accept. Perfect. Persian peasants. Yeah, those aren't my problem. I have another problem that I have to deal with. Seriously. These guys are fucking all over the place. They've spilled out. And now I have to go deal with them. You there. You just get back to the fucking country, I guess. You too. Oh, you're stuck right now from low morale? Okay. Clergy need more territory. That I can have arranged. Okay. Uh, estates. Clergy. Clergy, here. You can have a couple of provinces up here. That'll do ya. Antioch's over. Yeah. We're kinda losing ground. getting annoying. Uh, do we need to make use of their services? Yes, actually we do. That last point of stability is super expensive, so if I can get away without it, that's great. Okay, good. And I was kind of hoping you guys could handle that. No, there's no way. Like I said, the, the annoying part is they've managed to slip through so much, and now it's just sort of a matter of trying to clean them up. And send them back to their makers. Alright, start cleaning this mess up, let's go. Destroy any and all armies that you come across. Not where I want you retreating, but okay. Stranger of plan. There. Engage the enemy. Or try to. It appears the enemy is also fled there. Take them down. Like I said, I'm not worried. Oh, Jesus Christ, those are revolt. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Egyptians. 
Secondary and third procedures that I totally have forgotten about include, but not limited to, grant autonomy to those regions. Seriously, otherwise it's just going to be uncontrollable for the next little while. Places with sixes I will gladly grant. So be it. It's a start. Well, on the plus side, I think that means that if I can send anything over the back over the border, uh, it's not going to manage to get its way through for a little while. Well, alright, you guys don't need help. Glad to hear it. No, wait, don't... Yeah, go after whatever you... Don't try and reoccupy things. Like, we need to kill all their troops. And prevent them from just rando-occupying more things. Trying to contain here. Getting Antioch back may be of a decent. Well, Alright, apparently they can get through. I don't know if I sent them necessarily back over the border though. Yeah, fuck right. Like, I'm seeing Alexandria to you. I'd sooner let those fucking Idani separatists of Alexandria. to do it with mercenaries. Go. Really? Oh, I fucking hate that bug. Reduce war exhaustion. Go. You guys keep converting where you can. More of armies, plus 10%. That is going to be required. So, unfortunately, sometimes that'll happen. And I have, that means I have to recruit normally. Great. Here's what I like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't need the these two. Select 17, whoops. 14, 15, I'm missing one. There, 16. Gathered and done now. Does accept peace with Croatia. I'm not surprised about this. They've proven a mild nuisance. Yeah, we lost there. Like that is their army. That is their entire fucking army. I'm out of manpower is the real fucking problem. Alright, you guys. We're gonna need the king's help. said, hopefully, that retreats out of the country. No, not quite, but... Alexandria's gonna fall sooner or later, which will make their life a little trickier. Let's finish cleaning up their random garrisons all over the fucking place. Tunisia's managed to be a huge thorn in my side doing this. <laughs> uh, no. You know that Alexandria is about to fall. There. 
suddenly the war score is a lot less problem. A lot less of a problem. Alright, our containment of this problem has succeeded. For the moment. Would you be interested in white peace by chance? You would be. Yeah, I'm tempted to walk away personally. I'm in pretty rough shape. And I mean, I've got a lot of rebels to fight. Like, a lot of rebels. <laughs> I feel like it is, there is no shame in walking away at this point. Like, there are more rebels than my army and their army combined. It's probably best if I just take the time to deal with that. Plus, you know, the god hell that is going to be Persia soon. Sooner or later, those Persian separatists are going to get under me. So, let's work right now on defeating the rebels. That is our goal. Defeat the rebels. Gold is a sign of nobility, I suppose. I mean, I would have taken the other option just for the five loyalty of the estate. Of course, you can't pick that when you have three stability. Oh, the event was from a time before the states, however. It should be updated. Oh, cut out. Alright. We've managed to, uh, repel the Fez invaders. Getting ourselves back a hold of our uh, lovely country here. We've been flanked. It's really hard to have many troops on their front line. That's one of those, man, that's gonna collapse at any moment, sort of things. I'm not surprised. Okay, you guys, go deal with that. The rest of you, clean up Egypt. Okay. Everyone into Alexandria. There. Alright, so we now we have a total of 39,000 infantry here. All farmlands. Uh, do I have 75? Am I 75 capable? I am. Good. In that case... Yeah, that's, 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 that's fine. Good. Alright, so that's all of our infantry. Good, good. We'll need cavalry for them at some point. Also, we are capping out on Diplo points. That's a problem. Greek. Greek. And, I mean, probably might be time to start on the Iranians. Greek. Greek. Slowly but surely, the Greek culture spreads. Kakheti, one and only.
only true faith. All right. Yeah, damn. This is what our army looks like right now. Uh, short. Practically, uh, nothing. <laughs> we also have, uh, this 15,000 mercenary band, but we don't care much for them. We need 7,000 cavalry for each of those guys, and even an extra 6,000 infantry. Good. Whatever, uh, cores we can get our hands on these days make a huge difference. Just for revolt risk issues. Alright. Persian separatists are happy for the moment, thanks to the recent uprising. Okay. Complete. So we now have all of our friggin' uh, infantry. Of those he's passed on huh like it seems like no matter what I do with the clergy here I can't make them oh, well, whatever you know I think we're just gonna like give the clergy a region up here They just get that area. It is theirs. It belongs to them. Now. Give me an Inquisitor. Thank you. Keep the Inquisition strong. So eventually that'll be 9,000. That'll be done. Good. So many cores. Almost done, thankfully. Almost. And the Persians have been curbed just a little bit. Just a little. Unfortunately, we talked about this before, but really falling behind with this whole tech thing. I mean, it's not going to be long before I find out how long I have to get to tech 18 on time. I guess it's not the end of the world not to get to them on time. I have to come to terms with that. It's not the end of the world. It's just really, really, really accurate. No, actually, militarily, it's suicide not be a Tech 18 if anyone else is. Because it gets uh, that discipline bonus. I guess it's not suicide, but it's pretty bad. You get 5%. Diplomatic relations, the development 